darlings how are you all doing today welcome back to life as rudy youtube channel if you have not subscribed please make sure to subscribe so you guys today i'm going to be showing you how i make my pancakes by the way i make very nice pancakes you guys and i love making pancakes for my family over the weekend and all our ingredients are all purpose flour this is just one cup of all-purpose flour, yes. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of vanilla essence. This is vanilla essence. Uh-huh, waiting for the focus. Waiting for, okay, yeah, that is vanilla essence. I'm also going to be adding some cardamom. This is to bring the flavor. Some milk. Now, this is a must, okay? If you want to have those nice pancakes, you need some milk. I'm also going to be adding eggs. I'm also going to be adding, no, 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 I'm not going to be adding this. Now, this one is for cooking the pancakes. Sugar, because we want them sweet, okay? I'm also going to be adding some margarine. This is melted margarine. Lastly, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of salt. Very tiny. Now, the secret of adding salt in everything that you, you make, may it be cake, may it be pancakes, salt brings out that good flavor, okay? Now, let's start the mixing process so i'm going to require two bowls and uh, for me i like mixing the dry ingredients separately i'm also going to be mixing the wet ingredients separately i'm going to start away with one egg okay i don't love eggs so i only add one egg for those who love a lot of eggs feel free to add as many as you can personally i don't love a lot of eggs okay that is the butter, melted butter. I'm also going to be adding in the milk. And let me tell you, if you if you can have the full full cream milk, the better. I'm going to be adding the vanilla essence. If you don't like vanilla essence, skip that. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Now for the dry ingredients, I'm going to start with the wheat flour This is all-purpose flour And as I said, this is one cup I'm going to be adding in the cardamom Cardamom is just my preference. So if you don't like it, avoid this. So I like adding just a little bit to bring that good flavor. I'm also going to be adding two tablespoons of sugar. If you don't like a lot of sugar, skip this as well. Mix the dry ingredients. Add the salt. Now I'm just going to make a well in my wheat flour, like so. Add in the wet ingredients. Now stir this gently. I know most of you don't like this manual work. You like using your machines. Personally, I love this manual work because I am a true African woman. <laughs> I just love hard work. Oh, wait, guy. Okay, sour too. By now, I'm going to be mixing this until I get that good, you know, pancake butter. We want to kill all the lambs. Kill them? Yes, kill them. So this is what I was looking forward for. Look at this. So smooth. The butter is super, super smooth. 
and now this one is ready just like the consistency so on this other side i do have my pan ready and i have preheated it for one minute now i've already preheated the pan and added a little bit a little bit oh just added a little bit of cooking oil i love scooping my pancake butter using this okay what is the name of this what is the name of this for now let's give it a name and call it just butter scooper okay i just love scoop, scooping my pancake butter using this and this is how i do it now this one depends on how big you want your pancakes to be some people love them big others love them small medium size is me but this one is very small i'm gonna be making the next one a little bit big i'm also going to be requiring this spatula to flip and let me tell you the secret of cooking pancake once the pancake starts uh bubbling you just know that it is the time to flip it okay look at that look at that mm. Mm. you guys if you make this for your family they're gonna be happy very happy and as I said, if you get the full cream milk, that is going to sit very well with the pancakes. Your pancakes are going to slap differently. So I don't like adding oil on the other side. Okay, I only like, I only add oil on one side, now this one, this side. I don't like adding oil on the other side because that way I'm going to be avoiding too much oil. Now this has been just like one minute or two minutes and I can tell the other side is already cooked. Let's see. I'll just flip it. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. So just a little bit of cooking oil like so. I'm going to be making this one a little bit big. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now let me ask you guys, what do you like having pancakes with? Do you like having pancakes with sausages? Because I mean, you cannot have Can you have pancakes with eggs? I don't love eggs. So, but I can do this with uh, some good brewed tea. And I mean, sausages here. Yeah. And that is going to be a very good breakfast for me. Actually, I can do pancakes even in the afternoon, like in the for the tea break. I don't mind. Now, the pancake is already bubbling. Bring the camera close and you'll be able to see the bubbling I'm talking about. Okay. So, I'm going to be flipping this. It's time now. Flip it. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Mama cooking. So nice pancake this is such a easy recipe to make i just did this within 10 minutes and i am done i love making some pancakes you know for my family and this is just amazing they are very soft and fluffy just the way i love them you can actually go ahead and smear some butter if you like it or just drizzle some honey or maple syrup so thank you so much you guys for watching this recipe if you like it please give it a thumbs up and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.